What's up everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And if you want the gory, gory details, stick around for a step-by-step -step run through. Today, we're gonna show you how you can restrict access to a specific folder within a document library. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let's get that timer rolling. So basically, you got two folders here. You want to restrict access to this one so people can see it, but they can't make any changes. All you got to do is just go ahead and right click on that bad boy, go to manage access. You're going to get a little drop down right here. See the members? That's the regular people who can make edits. Just hit that drop down and change it to can view. And now they can't make any changes. Boom. Simple as that. Okay, so let's slow it down a little bit, take you step by step. We'll even show you. Uh, you know the quick way and the advanced way or the old-school way if you will to make this happen before we do that though I want to give a big shout out to all of the supporters all of the viewers the folks who are liking subscribing sharing If you don't already like and subscribe go ahead Here's your chance and hit that bell notification so you can know as soon as new material is available Okay, so let's get right to it now uh, we'll we will actually I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you like the old school back back in the day method which I tend to like to stick with just because I know exactly what's going on so here's what I mean by that so whenever you right click and you go to manage access okay uh, you have this advance button this is what I'm used to like I you know I got indoctrinated to SharePoint with this with this type of backstage view and I just like it a little bit better now one thing you'll notice here is that we have unique permissions now so that happened because I changed the permissions of the members to have read only to that particular folder and so now that folder is going to behave a little bit differently than the overall library and all the other files and folders now if I wanted to reverse that I could go ahead and click on delete unique permissions and click OK and now we're back to where we were so if you wanted to you know check that out we can go back here and we'll go back to the library and we will right click on the restricted access manage access you'll see it's back to where the members can now make edits so going back here we can go into the backstage and or go into the permission settings rather and let's say you wanted to do uh, use this view versus the one that I showed you before uh, maybe you just like this one better so what you're gonna do is here we're, we're gonna start back from the beginning okay we're gonna start back from the beginning just to make sure we're all on the same page so okay we're in the library and say you want to restrict access to this folder so we're gonna hit right click or triple dots it's all the same thing manage access advanced okay so here we are and what you have to do is you have to break these permissions now when we did it before uh, it allowed us to automatically break those permissions. This is another reason why I like to go to this particular um, uh, page because I like to know exactly what's happening. And so we're going to stop inheriting permissions. It tells you what's going to happen. We get it. We're going to say OK. And now we have these little radio buttons here that we can, uh, or check boxes we can check and choose what we want to do with these permissions. So in this case, I want to make sure that the members can only read, but they can't make edits. So in that case, I'm going to select, I'm going to edit their permissions, and then I'm going to choose read, deselect edit, click OK, and then there we go. The members have read access. If we want to verify that, we can go back, take a peek, and those members should just have read access to this particular location. And there we go. We got the uh, pencil with the with the hash with the uh, slash through it so they cannot make any changes now if we want to go a little a step further uh, we could even remove access altogether so if we go in here and we say you know what we really don't want these folks to even be able to see this folder then we can just uh, remove permissions altogether and now those folks are gone so if we go back here we want to take a quick peek to see what's going on we go in here we're gonna right click manage access and then we'll see members is gone but you want to make sure that they still have access to this other folder right click manage access and there they are pretty straightforward 
just keep a few things in mind. Keep in mind that uh, any changes you make to the document library permissions will not affect this particular folder because this folder now has its own set of permissions and behaves differently. If you want more on that, let me know. I'd be happy to make another video. Hopefully this helps. We'll see you next time. And until then, please keep doing what you're doing. Keep driving towards doing the best you can with SharePoint. And remember, SharePoint rocks and so do you. Take it easy, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.